hello guys it's your girl laika welcome to this blog um if you're here to find employment or you're interested in studying abroad or you're interested in just leisure travel i've got you and i hope you get the information that you need now today i would like us to speak about the eu blue card the eu blue card is a residence permit for qualified non-eu foreign nationals to work in an eu country now the only thing i can compare it to is the green card that you get when you're going to the U.S. and you're free to work in the U.S.A. Um, it permits its holder to enter and remain in a particular EU country for employment. Once you've finished with your duration of employment, at least 18 months, you can move to a different EU country. Now, which country can you go to with this blue card? The countries include Austria, Estonia, Finland, Germany, Greece, um, Malta, the list is endless, Sweden, Spain, yeah and uh, remember that the uk denmark and ireland are not part of this and the uk especially is because of brexit now the countries that cannot give you this card are norway iceland switzerland although they are some like partly part of the eu they are not part and parcel of who can give you this card Another thing that I would like us to look at is the countries that are allowed to apply for the EU blue card. Now we have Kenya, we have Tanzania, Uganda, Nigeria, Morocco, Madagascar, Lesotho, um, Guinea-Bissau. The list is very long of countries that are allowed to apply for this EU blue card. Uh, we also have countries in America, Europe um, and Asia. So they are all free to apply for the EU blue card. Um, can you bring your family with you? Yes, you can, depending on the type of um, agreement that you've had when you're coming in with your EU card. Now, remember, you need to have a job offer so that the company can sponsor your, your visa and they can sponsor your EU blue card for you to be able to go to Europe. So you need to find a job. However, if it's a country like Germany, they can also give you an, a job seeker visa. So that's slightly different. And each of the member states is different in how they do this. But the EU blue card enables you to work in all those countries as long as you've done your duration with the first employer. Now, more information about the EU Blue Card is it's similar to the temporary residence permit, but it targets a specific group of people and has a longer validity. The card is valid for four years, and those who have it can immediately get permanent residence if they maintain their jobs. For you to get the EU Blue Card, you can be categorized in six parts. I'm going to look at them very quickly so that we don't waste time and we go to how to apply to these to uh, to apply to these jobs. The first one is you can get it as a highly qualified or skilled worker. For you to be qualified as a highly skilled worker, your education needs to be at least at a bachelor's degree level. Your work experience needs to be at least five years. You need to have a job offer or a contract from an employer who is eligible in the EU. Your salary needs to be high, so like 1.5 times the national average. It needs to be very high. And then you must have health insurance. Let's go to the second category. And that is the researchers. The third one is the students. This means international students who've studied in the EU um, and then after they graduate, they are able to apply for this EU blue card. Now, the next one is intracorporate transfers. This is where when you work for a company, let's say, for example, in Kenya, you work for Shell. They decide to transfer you to a country in the EU and they get you the card so you can just move freely within the EU and do your job. The final one is the EU blue card for seasonal workers. Now, this is where most of us lie and this is where I want us to focus on for us to be able to get jobs in the EU. Now, here you can apply because it's a bit different from the blue card. It's slightly different because it caters for seasonal work. And it's one of the easiest ways for you to be able to move to the EU and be able to work. Whereas the EU blue card is issued to like highly qualified workers who've studied, the seasonal workers do not need, you do not need university qualifications. You can just go with whatever experience you have and you'll get your visa. 
For you to be able to qualify for seasonal work, you need to be working in the sectors of agriculture, horticulture, and tourism. I hope this has been understood. I want us now to look at how to apply to these seasonal jobs in different countries. I wanted to give this part the introduction it deserves so that you understand why I'm going to mostly be speaking about seasonal work in these different work destinations. Now, please follow up on our work destination series, and I'll see you next. Now, before I go, let me just say that with a seasonal work permit, you cannot move from state to state. You have to work where you've been given that permit, but then you are free to move back and forth. It's a multiple entry permit, so you're free to move back and forth. You can go back to your country and back to that country. And if you want to move to a different country, it will be easier for you when you already have a seasonal work permit in the EU because the employers, like some of the jobs say, do not apply if you're not authorized to work in the EU. So once you get one for one country, then you can be sure that you can easily get to another country. I hope that's been understood. Now let's look at how to apply for these jobs because this is the year that I want us to win. <laughs>